I wanted to speak a little more about the question about divorce mediation and compassionate mediation. And someone wrote in this question, clarification about the dual roles, therapist versus divorce mediator. She's confused by the boundaries, having had a discussion with a divorce mediator trainer who says that the ethical responsibility is not to be in a dual role. Yet she's also read where this is the case. Does this vary from state to state? What are the ethical parameters, please? And could divorce mediators who are doing therapy get reimbursed through insurance? If so, for what part of the work? Her understanding that my training program will not certify you as divorce mediator providers. I want to answer all those questions. As I said, compassionate mediation does not certify you to be a divorce mediator. It is a skill set that you can use in your practice to help people resolve conflict with more consciousness and compassion. Therefore, you can bill for it as you would for any other skill set that you have. So if you're a therapist, just because you offer some information about what the legal options might be as you help your clients process the feelings and decisions that need to be made, then what you're doing is giving them tools to have conversations that they need to have for their future relationship. You get divorce mediator training, either by taking it from a private party, by going to your state mediation council. Many colleges or universities have 40-hour trainings in divorce mediation, and that's a specific certification. It's a good idea to add to your repertoire if you can have five days to give it, and it's a great skill set to have. However, even if you're not trained as a divorce mediator, the skill set, the tools of compassionate mediation will help with all of your clients, with individuals, with couples, with families. It gives you a framework for helping them learn how to compassionately communicate, create compassionate relationships, explore their options for change, understand their rights and finances, and create the relationships they truly desire and deserve. So you'd bill as you would normally bill, you're not holding yourself out as a divorce mediator, but I'm hoping someday individuals, couples, families, clergy, attorneys, mediators, therapists, coaches will all have a skill set in compassionate mediation where people can add passion back to their marriage or compassion to their divorce. And that together we've helped people change the way they resolve conflict and certainly change the face of divorce one heart at a time. So let's get to all those hearts. Let's learn compassionate mediation. Charge as you would for your own practice. And if you're a therapist and you reimburse for your practice, then you have this skill set. And hopefully people will be looking for you in your state, in the world, and you'll have what you need to give them this information. So I hope that answers your question, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.